okay? So he goes for my gun, I underhook. This hand, guys, instead of coming under, look, my palm comes up and I plant it on his chest, but I walk it this way and then I drive him up. <laughs> All right, so one of my coaches calls it the what time is it grip, because you're looking at your watch. All right, it's planted here, guys. I bring it right across his jawline. When I start getting to that opposite shoulder, I open, that's what I want. All right, so we're gonna be here. He goes for my gun, I underhook. This hand comes over and I drive him up. See, this is horrible. And now I can just wait here, come up high. I'll let you guys, do the more mount stuff. But it's another control position, another option for you, okay? I prefer the neck crank all day. Maybe you won't get it. Maybe it won't work, right? We're here. Or maybe I don't have time to do this. He goes for my gun. Boom, right away, here. Hand back, drive. Right here. Now, he's not going anywhere now, right? Sorry, buddy. Everybody get that? Mm -hmm. Go easy. Again, this is what it looks like. And it works from other positions, guys. Real quick before they finish, I'll just show you here side mount right he's being tight come your hands he's, he's not right it's it's gonna make him move right yeah it's horrible he has no other <laughs> it sucks he can move or he doesn't move fine i'll keep doing it well, you gotta move right <laughs> but it pops this side up and it exposes his arm for handcuffing okay so th this these positions work side mount mount guard whatever real quick if we're here, we land here, right? Side mount. Maybe he's being tight here or whatever. Same thing, right? Side mount, same thing. So if you know the technique, oftentimes it's the same, regardless of your position. Okay. <laughs>